to get a beautiful view. Here she comes, the V29 Super Fortress. along the entire route of the Ibura Trail. His wingman, 
Todd Woodward. Todd is from Kendall Falls, Washington. Watch now as they're at show center. They come across the top. A beautiful formation. All the way across in the Barnstormers loop. The 36th Rushing Squadron supports the United States Air Force survival of school training through hands-on helicopter operations for over 4,000 students per year. Flight operations include live rescue hoist training, paradrop demonstrations, and combat rescue procedures. Training for students in the basics, combat survival course. An aircraft and crew can stand by 24 hours a day, six days a week, to provide medical evacuation coverage for students and instructors alike. You can often spell the difference between life and death for lost or injured hikers, hunters, skiers, or other outdoor enthusiasts. The unit has an outstanding record of humanitarian assistance in life-saving SAR operations. Since 2001, the 36th Rescue Squadron has responded to more over 200 requests for assistance and saved over 140 lives. An average, on average, the unit responds to 10 to 15 calls for assistance each year and has been credited. Now he's going to perform a really interesting The F-18 Super Hornet is taking the runway now. As you direct your attention to the left, the F-18 Super Hornet is going to go to Max AB, taking their GE F414 turbofan engines to their maximum envelope, putting 44,000 pounds of thrust uh, out of those engines, and then they'll execute what we call the dirty roll. The aircraft's going to climb up about 130 miles an hour, and as it reaches about 300 feet, is going to raise the gear up and do a 360 degree roll.